All right, pick number two. We'll we'll get through these ones much quicker. Uh, Renardo Green. Now, Renardo Green, I will say this. This is a player that I knew because David, February 5th, posted about him on Twitter and has been talking to me privately about him ever since. How good of a player he was. By the way, he did the same thing about Purcell. He had a tweet about Purcell saying that Purcell is going to go probably in round two or three, or he said probably in round three, but will be better than a lot of guys in front of him. Now, he didn't think he would be a round one pick, but here we are. So he liked Purcell as, as well. He thought he still thought it was a bit of a reach, but he's been tweeting right. about Purcell for months, right? Um, Renardo Green's another one. Love Renardo Green. So he had me sold on Renardo Green before the draft, and now... It's like when we got him, I was very, very excited. I had watched him against Malik Neighbors. I had watched him, oddly enough, against Ricky Purcell, put the straps on both of them, which was absolutely incredible. Uh, I just feel like he's an absolute dog. And, and this was a position for me where I had kept talking about it. You know, everybody was talking about offensive line, and I agreed. But to me, the position that was always lurking as a real big need was the secondary as a whole, just all the secondary, because of all the free agents next year. You only have one returning starter next year as it sits now, and that's Jair Brown. Outside of that, everybody else is a free agent. I felt like they needed to address some of that in this draft, and they did that by starting with Renardo Green in round two. What did you think about the Green pick? I like Renardo Green. Uh, Renardo Green is somebody who I could see as somebody – at, uh, who's pushing like a new regime, kind of like a, uh, I feel like there was a little bit of Brandon Staley on this pick. Physical man on corner, uh, long, fast, fast enough, 449 is great speed at his position. Um, For me, what really turned on for me is like, I saw his film at the Shrine Bowl. He was really good at Shrine Bowl, competitive, flying all over the place. One thing that I like about him is that he does not miss an opportunity to seek out contact and physicality. One thing I hate about him is that he does not miss an opportunity <laughs> to seek out contact. <laughs> oh, I'm messing with anybody. I mean, that's something that we're gonna have that we're gonna have to coach out of him. Um, because he is a he is damn near a safety almost with just how with just how physical that he um, physical that he is. Um, my biggest thing is that he just doesn't finish off reps the right way. Um, in a sense that he's always in phase, he stays in the hip pocket, um, high points the ball when applicable and during the rep. But sometimes he just gets a little he gets a little wonky near the end of reps where um he face guards, he doesn't have any feel on uh understanding when receivers are going for the ball, and that's gonna be a huge problem. When he goes against pro receivers, he's handsy. You know, he's very handsy. Yeah, he's very handsy, and that's going to be a, a quite an issue when he goes against savvy receivers who know about late hands and stride frequency and stacking receivers and using his aggression against him and getting on top of him and letting him run up his back and getting all of those intentional PM PIs. Like he's going to have a time going against some savvy guys who know how to use that yo yo string on him when they're like, "Oh, you want to be physical? I know how to play just against you." So. Uh, those are some crosses to bear that he has to get that he has to get out, um, get out of his system once he gets here. But as far as like all of those things, I like the pick. Um, he's an older guy, but at least he's a true, at least he's a true senior, right? He played at Florida State the entire time. Um, and you saw his progression. He was actually, he was actually upticking last year. Um, I didn't see him actually being able to get picked this high, but for what it's worth, he's got room to grow as well. He's six foot, 186, and he's a natural 186. It's not even like as though he's got to do a lot to stay that heavy. Um, and the boys athletics got a 37-inch vert. So um, for me, I like the pick. Um, I like where they're gonna put him, presumably on the outside. Uh, but if they stick him on the inside, he did work at um, he did work at nickel. Um, in previous seasons and the year before that, he actually got a lot of games at safety. safety so we actually yeah. got ourselves a versatile guy who can play all over the secondary. He's somebody that you're going to need in a pinch. You know how secondary gets. It's kind of like offensive line in a way where if you guys get a little, if you guys, if they get a little depleted, they can start throwing some corners at safety, some safeties at corner, you know, and it's good to have a guy like this in the toolbox. 
when you're going through a season, somebody that can play across the whole secondary and in a pinch, he can play safety. Not to mention that we got another special teams demon. I've been looking at um, that's a, that's I kind of feel like that's a that's a little that's a subject that's kind of being swept under the rug. Our special teams have been biting us in the ass all year, right? We either have bad returners, all right, or we even muff, muffin fumbles, or we get in kickoffs and punt returns chunked out of our gouged out of our asses every game we replace somebody it's like it's time for us to get more viable guys and i feel like bad special teams speaks to depth on your team i'm telling you man that's why the ravens are so fucking good at special teams man not because of the fact that they got a coach who prioritizes it and was a special teams coach himself but they have depth everybody you watch the ravens play and you get the feeling that Lamar's ass might be out there at Gunner at one point. Like, everybody yeah. plays over yeah. there. You know what I'm saying? And it's kind of like that's the type of feeling that I wish that we had where you got the feeling that it was all hands on deck. No matter who had a C on their chest, no matter who gets the ball the most, you're going to see guys all over the field at all times. Like, you know, that's what I wanted to kind of get back to. And I feel like Renardo Green is one of those guys that represents that. Yeah, most certainly. And the other thing that I love about it, and you mentioned it, was the versatility. That's exactly what I love because the way that I see it is they aren't pigeonholed next year to signing certain guys like, oh, okay, well, we lost our outside guy. What are we going to do? Or we lost our nickel. Now we got to do this. No, between him and Diamador Lenore, they've got the versatility to really play anywhere. So now it's like, okay, if they let a Traverius Ward walk and they go sign another corner, they could be like, hey, we're we're going to sign the best slot corner because we have two guys that can play outside or we're going to sign the best outside guy because we have two guys that can play inside. I love that versatility. It makes life a lot easier. You're not pigeonholed into one thing or the other. And then to your point, when players get injured and they often do in the secondary and when it happens, it's usually in the mid game. It's like, Oh my gosh, here we go. It's the scramble. Who's, who's the guy that uh, the 49ers kept bringing back year after year after year. Who's like, 35 by the time they stopped bringing him in. What did he um, play? He was the corner. Everybody's like, oh, he must have something on Kyle Shanahan Mr. and John Lynch. No, not Verrett. Not Verrett. Oh, God. Chat, help me out. Somebody in the chat's going to remember this. It's like the last two years he finally was Dante Johnson. There you go. Dante the reason Dante Johnson kept getting a spot on this team is because he was versatile. He was versatile. So every time he was your fifth guy off, it's like, well, you know what? It doesn't matter who went down. He can play the position. We're good to go, at least for this game. That's why he kept getting a spot on this team. So I love the versatility. I like this pick here. 